Welcome everyone. Today we gathered here for the final project presentations of our Meta Entrepreneurship course. We are very pleased to have our guests joining us for the presentations. Thank you very much for attending. We appreciate your support. As you know, since uh, 2018, we have been offering academic courses within the Second Life platform. We have a digital twin of our physical campus, which is at the Cha Virtual Campus. And this campus, this platform enables us to conduct classes and events, providing our students with a unique experience. And each year we strive to advance our courses based on what we've learned from the previous years, analyzing the requirements of the industry and trends to incorporate new lessons. So in this context, we initiated this meta entrepreneurship course for the first time this year, aiming to equip our students with the latest knowledge and skills. The aim of our course is to get an understanding of business practices in metaverse platforms and to explore the resources available for the virtual entrepreneurs. And to accomplish this goal, our students were expected to create their own virtual products and simulate real life entrepreneurship in Second Life platform. And throughout the semester, we had a very busy course plan and each week we met here and had various contents and speakers from abroad starting from teamwork theory and team building from Sidearm, meta literacy sessions from uh, Val, the librarian Greg, building sessions to create uh, students for helping to create their virtual products. And we went further with a scripting class given by Ford from Builders Brewery. Uh, we had a class with Wisdom Seeker on importance of community building and collaborations. We also had a class with Namara on social value creation and sustainable product developments. And our faculty here, Magua, Saitram, and I also delivered content regarding virtual economy, NFTs, intellectual property rights, marketing communications, sustainable marketing development, and so on. And we had uh, invited a virtual entrepreneur who is Philly Helen, a fashion designer in Second Life platform. So as you can see, the course included an extensive content and one of the main goals of this course was the, was the implementation part, because it was our goal to provide our students with the opportunity to experience, experience entrepreneurship. We know that the real life entrepreneurship comes with various challenges and using metaverse platforms to simulate entrepreneurial experiences can offer valuable solutions. We know that the new entrepreneurs can obtain real experience, improve their skills, make intelligent choices, in a risk-free environment here by utilizing the metaverse platforms. So for the course project, our students developed their virtual product ideas. They went through the essential steps of market research and competitor analysis for their marketing plans. They identified their product ideas and target audiences, and then proceeded to build their products. By formulating marketing strategies and budget plans, they prepared a marketing plan tailored for the metaverse. In today's presentations, we will listen to their product ideas, the process of product building and design, and their situation analysis briefly covering their marketing campaigns. Well, here we have a total of five groups, each team with their own showrooms or stores, you can say, we will visit their showrooms here in order to hear their presentations. Each presentation will last for 15 minutes. And I'll remind the teams when they got two minutes left. And after all the presentations are done, we will gladly address any questions you may have. And before we begin with the presentations, I would like to thank in advance each team for their efforts and our dear faculty members, Magua, Saitram, Gigi, and Ginger here for their contribution and hard work. And I wish everyone success in their presentations. And now let's begin then. We will start with the blue team. Hello, first of all, uh, thank you for coming to our office. Uh, I'm here to, here to introduce our company. Uh, today, I will tell you about our brand, products, and goals. As you know, our company name is Green Heaven. Uh, as a Green Heaven, we aim to sell garden furniture. Uh, however, the purpose of introducing these products 
was to enable people to have much more fun and comfortable time while having a good time with their friends and family or listening to themselves alone. Apart from this, of course, the aim was to create more technological products other than using. When designing our products, our first target audience was Generation Z. Uh, the first reason uh, for this was that uh, we saw that there were no suitable garden products available on shopping stores or stores, or that uh, there were more classic products uh, than existing ones. We are focused on this goal that is working towards technological and technology and technological developments that will truly satisfy and make Generation Z happy. Uh, creating comfortable products, apart from this, the other two categories we care about most are sustainability and accessibility. Because as green heaven, sustainable and green worlds are very important to us. For this purpose, we use sustainable products in the materials such as wood, glass and other sustainable products we use in our products. Apart from this, we have made panels, panels uh, that use solar energy in these products. We products, uh, apart from this, are uh, virtually accessible too. Hey, uh, let me start by doing over the structure and design of our product. And needs analysis was, was the first step in our electric swing design produce. We identified uh, the user items and goal at the, this point, and we shaped the design approach around this constructors next by investing related uh, innovators and current market products we developed a design concept we select materials that will be safe and long lasting for the swing during the material selection progress materials like plastic or metal can be chosen based on the intended use and design objects. For the swing carrier and seat, we went with soft plastic. We used solar energy into electrical design since it is environmentally friendly and has a good reputation uh, for sensibility. As you can see, we have two solar energy systems that are benef beneficial uh, to our ofi office and our products. When we look at the station analysis, we have a limited number of strong competitions. For example, the A-inch stories or places selling household goods, or places and individuals where an international company has entered into a partnership agreement with materials product from various places and sells only to disabled people. We also had a wheelchair raffle as a benefit for disabled people. Can get on and sit on the swing with assistance. We made a very tilt uh, of swings to sit everyone. When you look at our company, it is the leader among it is competition in electric swing. All, prod uh, all products are sold across a variety of retail channels and online platforms, providing customers with an easy and accessible shopping experience. 
what makes our company on Revelt is it is uh, focused on using high quality materials and safety standards. It attracts the attention of customers by offering unique size and ergonomics in electric swings the things and signs it gets its electricity from the sun it is not reflected in the electricity bill in addition we prioritize customer satisfaction with the special service and support we offer to our customers that is we sell it to disabled individuals free of charge in this way, we believe that we build more our brand forward in terms of sustainability. In short, these products have an important place in terms of disabled individuals and sustain sustainability, and this product does not require physical strength. Um, uh, since Hannah is not here right now, uh, we will present his presentation with a video he, uh, she prepared. Hello everyone, my name is Anna, and now I'm here to talk about our budget and financial plan. To begin, let's explore the development building costs, which constitute the foundation of our products. Our commitment to quality design is evident in the allocation of $5,000 for product development research and design. This investment is proof of our tireless effort to create a garden furniture experience that stands out in the second life market. Transitioning to event marketing, a crucial element in today's competitive landscape, we have allocated $50,000 for participation fees and event sponsorships in Second Life. This strategic investment is designed to elevate our brand visibility, forge connections, and position our garden furniture as a must-have in the market between customers. Recognizing the power of virtual influence in our digital age, we have dedicated a hundred thousand Linda dollars under the virtual influencer category. Hello everyone, my name is Anna, and now I'm here to talk about our budget and financial plan. Hello everyone. Uh, our store and products are designed to appeal to uh, all generations in Second Life. Uh, our strategy focuses on uh, to reach this large and uh, dynamic market. Attending and hosting uh, events within uh, Second Life is a proven and effective sales strategy. Users get an idea about our brand and products by uh, actively uh, participating in these events. Our product, uh, our product uh, is the swing has been uh, meticulously designed with Generation Z in mind to offer a wide range of uh, options. Uh, it is available in different colors and uh, we are developing lights and pro versions. Uh, the light version features uh, a curate color palettes. Uh, as well as light and swing function, Hello, the Pro version is, uh, has and a now, wider color range and additional and features, and including a media play. To begin, let's explore the development beauty costs. This is a strategy of a variety of options and that appeal to both uh, budget conscience and for features development uh, consumer. Design. We also plan to this revise limited editions of our uh, tri tights uh, to six seasons, such as a Christmas swing uh, for the holiday season. Uh, as you uh, as you can see, we have increasing uh, our product demand. In addition, the swing also um, give away our own our own garden lights link uh, to our first um, 100 customers. Since uh, such small campaigns will uh, attract the attention of 
uh, every customer. In addition, when design link to the wheelchair, the producer still must be care to ensure that they complement each other. For your elderly individuals, gardening turns into a, a election season uh, and they find they find peace, but our disabled individuals can only uh, watch this activity from a distance. So we uh, found a great solution to sit uh, to this problem and create the, a portable garden. Uh, thanks to its uh, height reaching up to chest level, uh, they will uh, not have neck and uh, back problems, and will have the opportunity. Uh, of heaven, uh, of have a perfect gardening seasons. In addition, uh, in addition to our portable garden, we plan to offer our complementary products: uh, a vehicle chair uh, at a very discounted price within the scope of the campaign. As you know, and uh, we have experience, experience. One minute left. Uh, social media takes up a large part of uh, our lives. Right now, it's magazines, news, ed ed education, and uh, most importantly, shopping. People always uh, read users' reviews before shopping line, uh, online. In fact, if an influencer is uh, like recommending the product, they are uh, 70 and 8% more likely are purchase it. Uh, based on this, uh, this based on this, uh, we are working to develop and uh, a virtual influencer who will serve as our brand ambassadors. This influencer uh, will establish a, a presence in on TikTok and uh, a platform with high potential for our target audiences. Thank you for listening. Yes, thank you very much, Blue Team. Hello, Red Team. You may begin. Okay, I think everyone can hear me, so let's begin. Hello everyone, today we will tell you about the power bank we have made at Second Life. I will make a small summary for you. My friends will give detailed information. It's a special solar powered portable charger that will allow you to always keep your virtual devices in the metaverse universe active. This power bank meets the charging needs of your devices during games, virtual meetings, training and other events in the metaverse, thus providing a virtual experience. Our brand name is MetaCharge. The product integrated solar panels charge the power bank by capturing energy from sunlight. In this way, you get energy from a renewable source. MetaCharge power bank has a high capacity battery and can charge multiple devices to full capacity. This is ideal for long-term metaverse events or games. Offers multiple ports for charging different devices, allowing you to charge your various virtual devices. Thanks to fast charging technology, you can fully charge your devices in less time. Its lightweight and compact design allows you to easily carry the power bank anywhere, so you can charge your devices in the metaverse universe anytime. It helps you reduce environmental impact by using solar energy, making it attractive to environmentally conscious users. Thus, this product saves energy. We have arranged it so that people who own our scripts can see the charging status. But since we will present the product to you, you can see what percentage it charges on the power bank. Let's also provide information as accessibility. This is a store of MetaCharge. We have made the floor suitable for visual impaired people to move around comfortably. We will sell our products on the marketplace. 
The prices of our products will be between 300 and 400. We will also have more diverse and colorful products for visuality. We also want to present our product on different social media such as Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn. Young people who are interested in technology in the su sustainable field are increasing day by day. We think that with the entire of brands such as Samsung and Xiaomi into the metaverse universe and the increase in demand in this universe, we will be able to cooperate with these brands. Now it turns to Pink List. She will talk about the building and design. In the second light platform, everything starts with a cube. All our designs emerge in this cube shaped as a classic starting point. However, over time, with the endless resources of the internet and the contributions of various friends, this cube idea expanded and transformed. With the coming together of different thoughts and perspectives, different design ideas were born and we worked with the excitement to bring them to life. MetaCharge emerged as a product of this process. It has high efficiency solar panels that effectively capture solar energy and maximize charging capacity. The solar panels in the store are, a, are also a reflection of this technology and an indicator of its power. Thanks to the software we integrate into our products, you can instantly see how much your phone and power bank are charged. We are constantly working on these scripts and trying to maximize the user experience by testing and improving them with the different applications. By clicking on our power banks, you can get brief information about power banks with the note card. You can also get information about meta charge by clicking on the R logo above. We try to create a very classic, simple and easy to understand store. It draws energy with the solar energy panels located above our store and the power bank is charged with the cables. You can find out how much your power bank charge is left by looking at the text written on it. As the power bank phone charge, its percentage decreases. The experience and feedback our friends who came to the region were very valuable to us. We evaluated each opinion one by one and improved our product in line with this feedback. The design of our products largely bears, and bears our signature. However, we constantly updated and improved our designs by listening to our friends' ideas and with their contributions. Not only that, we also took steps in terms of accessibility, especially with the improvements we made for wheelchair users and visually impaired individuals. Because it's very important for us that everyone can benefit equally from technological innovations. We wanted to demonstrate, we demonstrate this equality in our store with wheelchairs installed for visually impaired individuals to easily navigate our store or for other physically disabled individuals. MetaCharge is not just a product, it was born as a result of community and a combination of ideas. Our keywords in our journey were innovation, user feedback and sustainability. By adhering to these values in the future, we will continue to produce solutions that will touch the lives of more people. So it's turn now, uh, Karim. I will talk about situation analysis and financial planning. According to our second life research, we have a competitor with the Big Mesh One Prime standard. This competitor of mine market products on marketplace. But our difference from that is that we run it on solar energy. For this reason, even though we have a rival in terms of power bank, we see that it's an ordinary power bank with its features. We also plan to market our products through Second Life, but we don't have to stick to this alone and we cannot market it through different social media tools. <clears throat> For example, this is done via Instagram and I think I will attract a lot of attention. We may have an event 
advantage on Instagram that people of the same age group can reach us. The wider we reach the masses, the larger the market area we create. We could hire someone to the design and London will charge an average of 300 per design for that. As a result of our research on marketplace, we found that, found that the design vary between 250 and 300. We think the estimated block sales will be $100, considering that the same products cost around $200, estimated sales costs range from 20,000 to 30,000 per month depending on demand and pricing. We are considering adding a 20% profit margin to our expenses. We aim to attract attention during advert advertisement, advertisement that will enable us to get a response in a short time and earn high profits in the long term. MetaCharge aims to revolutionize revol revolutionize energy accessibility by producing and promoting solar powered portable chargers popularity known as solar power banks the mission revolves around creating sustainable re reliable and portable energy sources for individuals on the go hello everyone and then our vision to illuminate the world with the boundless energy possibility, MetaCharge envisions a future where every individual harness the power of the sun and provide clear through sustainability. And portable energy solution, we strive to lead the charge towards a planet where clean, renewable energy search fuel innovation, drive progress and preserve the beauty of the, our environment for generations to come. Visual product uses a social media thread focus on the second life community. The captures uses attention and engagement, engagement through content that emphasize innovation and sustainability. It also increases awareness with the community by delivering in the world advertising and virtual events. Virtual product creates interactive space that offers users the chance to experience the product firsthand. It explains the features of the product, the detail throughout visual presentation. Online purchase and interactive content, it also provides the, a true visual experience by the allowing users to try product we aim to attract individuals' interest. In technology by using Instagram. In this way, we will attract technology sales individuals. We want to increase the interest in our product by attracting, attracting young individuals. The interest of well-known products such as a Techno and Samsung in the Metaverse become our main search the throat that there will be a need for a power bank as the phones were already on the Second Life platform. In this way, we plan to introduce our product. Our slogan is Energizing Your World with the Solar Strait. With our slogan, we aim to attract more people, increases sales and change our sales and social media. Thank you for listening us. Thank you, Red Team. I guess you are finished with your presentation. Yes, Tisha, thank you. Purple Team, you may begin. Hello everyone, I am Redflix. Today I will introduce you to the Sun Charge Brand Electric Bicycle Charging Station, um, an innovative product we have developed to shape the future. First, I would like to briefly talk about our product. Sun Charge is a uh, charging station developed to meet the needs of electric bicycle users. However, this station not only, uh, only charges your bicycles, but also offers an environmentally friendly approach thanks to solar energy panels that produce their own energy. Uh, however, this station not only charges your bicycles, but also offers an environmentally friendly approach thanks to solar energy panels that produce their own energy. So, 
Our product has been designed very consensually in the context of sustainability. Sunchart has a mission to support a sustainable and environmentally friendly uh, future. Solar panels provide the energy necessary for the operation of the station while also helping us reduce our carbon footprint. This is a shift. Uh, this is issues not only by using clean energy, but also by instilling environmental awareness in users. Time charge has several features. Fast, fast charging uh, technology. It produces less waiting time by charging your electric bicycles quickly. Thanks to its high power output, it produces maximum energy in a short time. Solar energy integration. Integrated solar panels provide an environmentally friendly energy source that constantly powers the charging station. Using solar energy reduces energy costs and minimizes the carbon footprint. Battery storage. Integrated batteries located next to the station provide more efficient energy use by increasing energy storage capacity. Advanced uh, advanced battery management system optimizes energy storage and distribution. Modular design. Its modular structure can be expanded and personalized to suit customers' needs. It offers the flexibility to adapt to future technological developments. Intelligent monitoring and control. The remote monitoring and control system allows user, users to monitor charging status and energy consumption. It offers the opportunity to manage charging operation remotely via smartphone application. Energy efficiency. High energy conversation efficiency ensures maximum utilization of the energy used. Intelligent energy management optimizes energy consumption. I can explain our background and motivation as follows. Our purpose in developing SunCharge was to offer an environmentally friendly alternative by combining the principle of sustainability with technology, supporting use of electric bicycles and reducing carbon emissions are part of our goal to live a cleaner environment for future generations. SunCharge is not just a charging station. It's a symbol of sustainability and environmentally friendly technologies. At the same time, SunCharge con contributes to the environmentally friendly transportation solution of the future by combining sustainability, energy efficiency, and innovative design. Each feature will provide users with both practical and it aims to offer an environmentally friendly charging experience. By taking part in this project that contributes to the clean energy solution of the future, we hope to build a greener future together. Thank you. Hello everyone. We started the creation of our construction area with the exterior design, creating a modern and transparent aesthetic by covering the surroundings with a glass appearance while designing the charging station which is an important element in our project. Uh, we provide uh, the use of solar energy. We aim to benefit from maximum sunlight by placing the solar panel, pan panel high and in a horizontal position. With the construction of the charging station, we focused on the design of the batteries to ensure that they were aesthetically enchanted and visually emphasize the power surge. We also ensured that the design was integrated with functionality by creating cables to, to transfer the charge. Uh, by determining the overall color combination of the space, we achieved, uh, achieved a harmonious uh, look with, with the glass walls surrounding the station. As a final touch, we added posters and banners to the area to highlight the purpose and features of our project. This combined uh, with transparency and aesthetics, this modern charging station has become an impressive design that emphasizes an environmentally friendly technology. Thank you. Um, hello everyone. Now I want to tell you about uh, situation analysis. Uh, in second life, 
Sun Charge competes uh, in the marketplace with other virtual bands offering charging stations. Uh, Sun Charge offers differentiation in the virtual environment by focusing on sustainability and new technology. Uh, Sun Charge charging stations are sold in the showroom here. Um, Sun Charge stands out as the you know, innovate leader of sustainability sustainable uh, transportation in the virtual world. Uh, solar panels and high performance are among the unique uh, features of the product. Uh, Empathizing environmental uh, awareness and customization sets uh, Sun Charge apart from its competitors. Uh, financial planning. Uh, production cost includes 3D model developments, uh, crafting and design within Second Life. It pro provides the advantage of not having real-world uh, production costs. Uh, revenue generation. Uh, the main income comes from virtual charging station fill-ups. Each vehicle fill-up costs uh, 1 uh, kilowatt. Uh, 1.20 billion dollars uh, short-term goals uh, ensuring brand awareness uh, advertising on instagram and generating uh, regular virtual charging station sales uh, long-term goals uh, to establish sun charge as a leader in virtual sustainable transportation expand the charging station product range and integrate uh, the business with other virtual plat platforms and groups uh, thank you for listening hi everyone i will talk about marketing campaign uh, we aim to show our customers that we care about protecting nature while making their lives easier because in charge station production which is mostly for profit the challenges that nature and the environment will face in the future are ignored. Our goal is to make our lives a little easier and to protect the environment while doing so. Environmentally conscious people who think like us will be willing to buy these products. At the same time, we take care not to make it too expensive in order to attract the attention of different segments. We plan to we plan to announce our product on social media. We specifically aim to do this on Instagram because there is an incredibly large audience on Instagram. It can also be held at a party with customers using electric vehicles to tour and experience our station for more effective promotion in Second Life. In this way, we can communicate effectively with buyers and they have the chance to see our products more closely. We also think that we can achieve an even better marketing method with words where the features of our products are written. We believe that since we have introduced a product that is both affordable and environmentally friendly, it will attract everyone's attention. Our Instagram page name is suncharge2024. If you want, you can visit our Instagram page and even share it with your friends who think might be interested. We also added an image of our Instagram page here. To examine in, in detail, visit us, visit us on Instagram. Thank you for listening to our presentation. Thank you, Purple Team. Hello, Team. Please begin. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our innovative hearing aid designed for Second Life. We have created this product to help people in the virtual world who face hearing challenges. Our goal is simple making a hearing aid that is affordable, easy to use, and fits well in the Second Life environment. 
By wearing our products, uh, the individuals can instantly reveal their hearing impairment and promote awareness and understanding among other resistance of Second Life. This enhanced visibility has the potential to bring this community closer, ensuring they, that they receive the support and recognition they fully, rightfully deserve. Moreover, our product goes beyond just visibility. It aims to mimic real life experiences of hearing impaired individuals, making them feel as if they are in their natural environment. In Second Life, where people create avatars that can be very different from their real life selves, our innovation, innovation meets both needs. What sets our product apart from the competition it is accessibility. We have made a conscious choice to offer our product cheap to make it accessible to anyone who needs it. This commitment to inclus inclusivity in underscores our dedication to make a positive impact on the lives of hearing impaired users in Second Life and it fosters a sense of unity, support and comfort. Now I want you to, to, to take a look in our store, you will have one minute to explore our building. We will be waiting for you outside. If everybody is done, we can uh, come outside again. And now, I, I will show you our product. Urjan, can you come closer to me? Yes, you're here. If you look at Urjan's ear, the left ear, you can see a small little hearing aid and a text. Now our next presenter will pre uh, present the product and the design. Hmm. Hello, first of all, I will explain the production and design of our product. Our design process started with needs an analysis and what can be done. At this stage, we started the design process by determining the user audience and purpose. Then a concept was created by ex examining existing market products and similar project and market research. Then we start producing our product. The name of, the name of our product is Stylistic Hearing Aid. When the device when the device is plugged in, it says about the user fact that he or she is hearing impa impaired. In this way, we can understand that the user has a hearing problem. Thanks to device, we design where we eliminate this problem of the user who has hearing problems. We ensure that user can be used this device which we produce in different styles, in a useful way. If I had to explain the presentation area, we, we turned the spheres and turned them into wall by using various textures while creating the construction area. We created a beautiful and stylish space by using text on the door.
We sell our products through the marketplace. Our competitors in the marketplace also sell listening devices like us. What distinguishes us is the choice of colors and patterns in the product. At the same time, the brand name was on our heads. In order to make sales, we made the first inspection free of charge in order to attract more customers. And we provided more than one product for, user, for the users. We have designed the color and shape features. Users will be able to choose according to their wishes. You can also see our products on us. Our products are not free. We only offer them at affordable prices. At the same time, we are trying to appeal to more audiences through our social media accounts. We have X and Instagram accounts. Hello everyone, my name is Ugurcan. I will provide you with the marketing strategy and financial information of our product. By the way, you can see our headset in my air. We have a marketing strategy to keep our product afloat and provide ourselves with a source of income and use it as an investment in our product. In line with this strategy, we are still committed to offering our product for cheap, a standard financially identical version version will be available for cheap directly from the market but if users want to make a design or visual changes to their headphones they will have to pay for these customizations uh, the money we use it to design our product was 4 trillion dollars we used this money from the exciting balances of my friends who took the course last year we used it to aid the textures and images so we could design our product why, the, why we wanted. In the short term, we want to deliver our product to as many people as possible for cheap. We believe, we believe the, that we will then introduction customization options to people we deliver the product and charge them for customization. In the long term, we aim to create a loyal community of customers and provide a steady source of income for their products by customizing them regularly. Thanks for listening. Thank you very much. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. I will explain marketing campaign for our product. Our product is a hearing aid that we have designed for our hearing imp impaired individuals and we aim to minimize the difficulties of people who have this hearing aid. Our target audience will be hearing impaired individuals as can be understood, understood from the purpose of the product. And the, and the product will be available to markets and affordable price. It's also preference for us to make paid advertising in order to, in order for its uh, product appeal to many segments. And in addition, we will offer limited time promotion promotions to encourage the sale of our product, and we will give you the opportunity to see a demo of how it, how it works. Since it's uh, very important for us to be re re reliable to buyers, we will share informative photos and explanatory text about the product via social media. We have also prepared posters and logos to attract the attention of individuals more. And in order to better showcase our product, we can also participate in webinars and promote the product. Thank you for listening. We are finished. Thank you very much, Yaloti. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Our brand name is Phoenix. This is not a coincidence. Phoenix symbolizes rebirth. As Phoenix products, we produce sustainable furnitures along with functional furniture for those with mobility challenges. Our mission in establishing the company is based on two important aims. Firstly, we are consist of our responsibility to live a more viable world for future generations. 
by using sustainable materials and eco-friendly production progress, we aim to preserve natural resources. Secondly, we are aware of responsibility to society, focusing on improving the quality of life and providing solutions to social needs. We design furniture that is suitable for people with mobility challenges. With these aims, we take pride not only in offering our customers aesthetic design, but also in creating a positive impact on the nature and society. Our store consists of three floors. On the first floor, you'll find our bamboo meeting room and furniture designed for this with mobility challenges. We have hobby room furniture on the second floor. The terrace floor is a space where you can enjoy coffee, relax and spend enjoyable moments. You can visit these floors to look at our products in more detail. Let's take a look at our products. We have a multifunctional bed design for individuals with mobility challenges. This furniture can be used as both a bed and wheelchair. Our special wardrobe and table are also designed for users to carry out their activities comfortably and independently. All of our products are made from sustainable materials. You can find detailed information and more products in, store, in our store. Let's take a look at our products. This special room is crafted using natural sustainable materials such as bamboo and linen, inspired by a bohemian style. The hobby room has been designed to captivate art lovers. If you click on the book on the sofa, you can listen to relaxing music while reading a book. Our visuals are carefully crafted with artificial intelligence, drawing inspiration from the aesthetic richness of Renaissance art and the profound meanings of Asian cultures. Every detail in our products is akin to a work of art. Now, Aslan will tell you about marketing campaign. Let's go back to our slideshow. Hello everyone, I will tell you about our marketing campaigns. We create a virtual store here and arrange a showroom to make a product attractive. We intend to showcase sustainable and enjoyable household items, highlighting their environmental impact. We declare that the product materials are environmental friendly. One of our plans is to collaborate or develop other effective users who produce sustainable products. Through strategy partnership, we effect to expand our reach of broader audience by engaging in joint projects with other brands that share a commitment to sustainability or address mobility challenge. We aim to reach more people. In alignment with our mission, we actively collaborate with civil social organizations and non-profit entities. Let's take a closer look at this partnership. Two Brain Health and Ethiopia Island. Two Brain Health has a very wide audience and a non-profit organization. They attack the importance to sustainability and accessibility. As a Phoenix product, we contacted World Brand House and they placed our poster and note card with our company's information on their item. In this way, we aim to reach a wider audience. Ethiopia Island has a large audience and we partnered with the Ethiopia Island to tap into the audience that cares about sustainable living. Our poster is available in the different locations on Ethiopia Island. We aim to reach large audience by promoting products to them. We plan organize virtual exhibition and dinner. We also have a YouTube video for this. It is located at the entrance of the sanction reserve for us. We have a website that we establish as on our social media strategies. 
We include, include information about our brand and the promotion of our products here. We have an Instagram page and here we aim to inform and attract people on the store by sharing photos of the products we make. We may adver advertise for in this feature. We determined our target audience as a second live users and non-mutually friendly users and accessibility advocates. We aim to increase awareness of our products with online brochures. At the same time, we introduce direct direction with voice commands in the area reserved for us. You can access our social media accounts by scanning QR codes. We help our users and target audience with, with the virtual guide. We are also considering posting an event for other users in presentation area. Here, we will create a virtual workshop and users will be able to create a game on design with materials we provide. Apart from this, we plan to create an area where we can receive users' feedback by adding virtual survey. Now, Barakay will explain the situation analysis. Hello everyone, uh, I will now present the station analyst. Our direct competition are companies uh, that sell every mentally friendly products, but have offered the level of exemplarity we do. While they may not specify or cater to people with mobility challenges, we pay close attention to this aspect. Indirect and competition include traditional furniture and decoration stores that do not prioritize stability and accessibility. Our products are available for purchase on our store in Second Life and our Wix Plus page. What sets our products apart is the combination of stability and accessibility. Very few products on the market offer this dual benefit. Customers can make every mentally conscious choice while ensuring inclusivity. The modern and innovative design of our products attract customers, providing customers oriented service and boosting furniture sales. Now, Gamze will tell you about financial planning. Hello everyone. I'm going I'm going to tell you about our financial planning. In Second Life, we are increasing our number of customers day by day thanks to the events, parties and joint work we do promote sustainable living. Our company spends a minimum of $2,000 per month on these works. We aim to achieve long-term profitability by regularly launching new personalized products and keeping our marketing strategy up to date. For example, discount campaigns and special offers are interesting to many customers. Our company offers different products on special acquisitions and special teams such as Seraphon and New Year. Apart from these special days, we aim to offer five different products to our customers every month. Phoenix products have unique design and expert team. The monthly payment of our designers is $5,000, and we determine our product prices by taking into account marketplaces, 10% commissions deduction. To achieve long-term success, we will constantly improve our products. The satisfaction of our customers and their opinions and suggestions are of permanent importance. We will listen to their demand and offer innovations in line with trends. For short-term sales, it will be useful to, pre to prepare attractive advertisements and campaigns for our target audience with an assigned marketing budget. 
By successfully follow with these long and short term steps, we will make the name and quality of Phoenix products widely known in the Second Life marketplace. We will have created a Phoenix world that is much more than ordinary brands selling accessible and sustainable furniture. The prices of our product change according to their features, as you can see in the slides. For detailed information, you can visit our store and following our social media accounts. Thank you for listening to us. I would like to thank you all for your comments and questions. And we are closing this session with Magua. Magua, the mic is yours. Okay, thank you, Galia. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you for joining us today. I stand before you as an educator who embarked on a journey into the uncharted territory of virtual worlds, particularly Second Life, back in 2006. In those early days, virtual worlds were emerging as the new 3D web presenting exciting possibilities uh, that sparked my imagination. As a marketing educator, I saw uh, more than just a virtual space here. I envisioned a marketplace, a hub for buyers and sellers, a virtual economy waiting to unfold. Yet the technical infrastructure in Turkey at that time and the limited access to the 3D cap capable devices posed challenges. Fast forward a few years, and I found myself ready to bridge the gap between traditional education and the untapped potential of virtual worlds. Collaborating with fellow educators and experts within Second Life, we formed a team at Chai University, now a group of five dedicated to exploring and expanding the realms of academic work within this virtual space. Our journey led to stable partnership with esteemed organizations like the Technology University of Dublin, Virtual World Education, Education Consortium, uh, Whole Brain Health, Virtual Ability Island, and Builders Brewery. And even there are more that I couldn't count right now. Today, our community is evolving, and uh, we proudly offer three unique courses to our third and fourth year undergraduate students. The latest edition, Meta Entrepreneurship, pushes the boundaries by challenging students to become meta entrepreneurs inventing and creating virtual products. This course is not just an academic pursuit, it's a journey into the future and navigation through technological challenges and opportunities that await the next generation. I firmly believe that the future demands a new set of skills for success. Our unique courses provide students with the chance to develop and experience these skills without excessive risks during their academic journey. Our students, whom I see as pioneers, enrolled in this elective course with courage and an open mind, embracing a new model of learning. As we reflect on this experience, I extend my gratitude to our dedicated staff, guest lecturers, and the visionary students who made this journey possible. I'm thrilled to announce that Meta Entrepreneurship will return next fall becoming an integral part of China University's virtual initiative. In our pursuit of innovation, we have invested in a VR lab at our physical campus as well, symbolizing our commitment to a brighter future. Our mission is clear to continue being innovative and unique in this virtual world, shaping the education of tomorrow. Thank you for being a part of this transformative journey. Together, let's unlock the doors to the future of education in virtual worlds. Thank you very much.